There it is, there it is. Oh no, there it goes. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today we are going to be taking a very quick look at the HANA Salinity Tester. I'm not going to do a full unboxing and how-to video. I do want to show you a couple cool features, a couple cool things, but if you really want to see the best how-to video, how to set it up, everything, I'm going to leave a link in the description and across the top of the screen right here. That is the video for what I think is the best video on YouTube on this product. That's my buddy Fishy Snowman. He did a really good video on that. But I just want to show you guys exactly what you get. So I've been using a refractometer for four years now, and I'm officially only using the HANA Salinity Tester. I still have my refractometer, but it is put to the side. And I'm not using it anymore. I mean, it's, it's an emergency backup in case I lose this. I step on it. I break it. You know, I throw it into a volcano. You never know what could happen. So it does come with the um, solution to calibrate it. It comes with four solutions. Um, I only have one left because I like to test things. And I've had this for a little while. So I know the directions do say, I believe, to calibrate it monthly, which is fine. You can get these for like a dollar. So in reality, it only costs you $12 a year to maintain this, which is pretty good. There is one thing I want to show you guys. I don't remember if Fishy put this in the video or not. You know, Mr. Snowman, correct me if I'm wrong. But when you do get it, you have to take this out. There's a little switch back there to switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, I think it was. But um, I put a screwdriver in here. You can't really notice it, but kind of it did something to the plastic right there. But... I didn't realize that, you know, you look at this cap and you're like, why can't it just be like this on both sides? Very simple. This is the key for it. Okay, put that in there like that. Look at that. Fits perfectly. Now you can turn the battery compartment to lock it and unlock it. This is the key. So I thought that was pretty cool. So after you're done calibrating it, which is very simple, by the way, once you get this product, and you read the directions, or if you want to watch Fishy Snowman's video, he actually shows you how to calibrate it. It literally takes, um, you know, with getting home, as soon as you open it, put it together, switch the Celsius if that's what you want, and calibrate it. You're testing the salinity in your tank in less than five minutes. It's awesome. And I actually been testing it daily in my tanks, both my tanks, and I'm getting a good reading. I'm using this when I'm mixing my salt, and it does match my refractometer. I calibrated the refractometer to 35 ppt, tested the tank, and I compared it to this, and they're both spot on. So I've been trusting my refractometer for so long. When this number matches that, I'm, uh, I'm going to stick with it. Plus, Brian from ReefCo highly recommended it. He services his tanks every day, uh, you know, I believe six days a week. And he uses this on every job. All his guys have these. So if he's putting the, um, you know, if he's putting the salinity tester, uh, you know, in his guy's hands and he's running his company off of this and, you know, that's how he survives and pays his bills, then I'm going to trust it as well. So, Brian, again, thank you for the recommendation. And the same goes for you, Fishy. Fishy recommended it and he did a really awesome video. So, going to show you guys exactly how easy this is to use. So let's go upstairs and take a look. Alright, so very simple. You have your little device, you hit the power button. When it first comes on, it's going to blink. It's actually going to show you 97% battery power left and it has the 1.00 mark because it's not in the water yet. This also has a built-in thermometer. So this is how easy it is. I like to dip it a couple times and then you're supposed to shake it to get any air bubbles out. Now, there it is. So I'm gonna try and hold it so you guys can see it. Salinity is 1.025. And you can kinda of see right here, there's a little um, indicator that it's you know running its numbers and it's a little hourglass. Once the hourglass stops blinking, that pretty much tells you, you know what, we've determined the salinity and we've determined the temperature. So 
I'm at 78 degrees and 1.025. So it's pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Love it. That's how simple it is. Now, it does have a, a, a fail safe so that if you leave it on, I believe it shuts off automatically. But I don't remember 100%. Check, check the snowman's video. Maybe he says it in there. Now, when you're done, I have a little cup of RO water that I dip this in. It does recommend that you rinse it off to get the electrodes or diodes, whatever's inside of this device. Clean them off, get the salt water off, let it air dry overnight, and then put the cap back on it and store it. So, that's it. Hannah, oh, you know what? And just for a little bonus, check it out. 97%. And uh, there it is, there it is. Oh no, there it goes. Just kidding. It's waterproof. It's waterproof. Refractometer's not, look at that, 102.5, 78.1. All right, I love this thing. I'm gonna rinse it off, dip it in some RO, and store it. Thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.